you know what? Uh, so, um, last night I went to bed at 8.30 and I slept through the night. I slept like a damn baby. I, and why do we use that expressions? Babies don't sleep good. Babies are waking up. Babies are crying. Babies are saying, mommy, mommy, booby, booby. <laughs> I wanted to, I, <laughs> they're just like me for real. Anyways, I, <laughs> I slept really good. I slept like a, a rock. I, whatever, I slept, I slept really, really, really good last night, right? I wake up and I'm tired and I'm like, okay, sometimes I'm tired and then I get going and I get untired. No, I get going, I never get untired. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I had to redo it so you could see my arm. Hmm. So I end up taking a nap. I take like an hour and a half nap and I wake up and I don't feel any less tired. And I'm like, hmm. What is going on? Why am I so tired? And that's when I remember. I'm recovering from when this $1 energy drink I got from Dollar Tree almost killed me. Let me explain, because I'm literally not joking. So I got an energy drink from the Dollar Tree, and now energy drinks are horrible for you, and I honestly need to stop drinking them. Um, and especially really, really cheap ones, right? So I, I got one. So basically, what was I saying? I just forgot because the damn energy drink probably gave me brain damage. So uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, I had I got a dollar energy drink from Dollar Tree. I drank it. It tastes like literal gasoline and I'm starting to think that it was gasoline. I don't know what gasoline tastes like. I've never gone in for a taste with a nozzle. Imagine, imagine seeing me at the gas station. Here's the nozzle. Okay. Ah! Anyways, later that night, so I had the energy drink. Later that night, I start realizing like, oh, I can't breathe. Like, I'm really struggling to breathe. Like, my, my throat, it felt like someone was like choking me. But like, choking me in like the bad way. You know what I mean? And like, wouldn't stop. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. I started saying my safe word and still the choking didn't stop. My parents watch my videos, um, it, but still the, the, video, the choking didn't stop. And I'm just like, what is this? And so yes, I'm a grown adult, but who do I go to when I don't know what's wrong with me? I go to mommy. I go to mommy and I will continue to go to mommy until, uh, until my mom will not die. My mom will live forever. I will go to mommy my entire life, okay? So I go to her and I'm explaining and she's like, okay, so like, what did you eat today? What did you drink today? And the energy drink. That is what did it to me. I, I, I swear, a dollar energy drink almost killed me. I literally was almost murdered from a dollar energy drink. And I think that's my body still recovering and that's why I'm so tired. Anyways, I have this little Cupid doll. Well, it's not actually a Cupid doll. I'm pretty sure this one's a fake because this is a real Cupid doll and I'm pretty sure this is a fake one. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna cut its head open and I'm gonna put a plant in it. That's what I'm gonna do next. It's literally about six in the, at night and I finally just got some energy. And it's like I'm not low energy because I'm sad. I can tell when I'm sad. I'm low energy because a dollar energy drink almost killed me. Let's put a plant in this little girl's head. Look how cute her little outfit is. Kind of a sleigh. Slay! stabbed a little hole in now we're gonna cut it with some scissors fabric scissors which fun fact i use my my fabric scissors for a lot of stuff outside of fabric and then when they like aren't cutting fabric that good anymore because they're not as sharp i'm like what what like it's not my fault all right pd we're ahead mate beautiful i don't know what type of plant i want to put in there but we're gonna figure it out it's very sticky, very vintage doll. I just cut a very, this doll is from like the 60s. Let's hope there was no ghost haunting it because now that ghost is going to be after me. Uh -huh. You want to know how weird of a mood I'm in? I made brownies like two hours ago and I haven't ate any of them. And like I don't even want them. So that's how you know something's not, something's going on with me right now. Maybe I'm low energy because I'm gonna become a werewolf or some shit. Uh, okay, would you rather be a werewolf or a vampire? Vampire. I love Bella and Edward and I, I love the way they love. Slay! Oh my gosh, look, I got this little pot that fits in the head perfectly because I'm not gonna plant it straight in. I guess I could, but I don't know if you would. I might be able, I might be able to actually. I'm trying to think about like rotting wise 
I think I'm gonna plant it in here. Cause then like when I need a water, I can take it out. So it's not like, yeah, I think this is just a smarter idea. I have the best idea. I was just given this rubber plant clipping. So I'll keep it in water until it gets roots. And I realized it would look so cute like this. So we're gonna do that. Who knows if putting water in here is a good idea. Oh, nope, it's leaking. So JK. Okay, I got it. I got it figured out. I put my rubber plant clippings into this cool freaking jar. Like, yeah. And then I'm going to put into the head a Tritoscanthia clipping, which I've been growing hydro hydroponic, hydroponic in water. <laughs> I've been growing in water for like months, so it has crazy roots. So I'm going to go do this. <laughs> she is so so cute and she's so happy her arms do move slay that's what she's saying she's saying slay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be making some stained glass jewelry i have a bunch of stained glass pieces and i just started getting into this um i want to make like some green ones look at this piece wow Wow! Look at this. We're gonna start with this piece, get some pieces. So I'm gonna get some little pieces and then I'm gonna solder them together. And we're gonna make some earrings or a necklace. Who knows? But this is actually really crazy how stained glass works and like cutting it works. It scares the shit out of me every time, but it's it's a lot of fun. I wanna show you guys like how you do this because it literally still freaks me out. Like literally, this is just this is my second day doing it. Um so first you gotta dip your your uh glass cutter into some glass cutting oil right and then i wear gloves uh mainly because i'm just so scared like this doing this scares me so i like to have gloves on <laughs> then what you do is you take this and my workstation is so messy by the way so i think i want just like a little piece and then i'll cut pieces off you score it then you hold it like a thick piece of dark chocolate and break it. <laughs> Isn't that so crazy? Like that literally is crazy to me. So I'll use a little piece of that. Let's keep cutting little pieces. Like a piece of dark chocolate. So crazy that you can just cut glass like this. It will never cease to amaze me. Every time I crack the glass, I'm not even kidding you guys, my heart drops, like legitimately drops. It still scares me. There we go. All right, so now I got four pieces and I'm gonna cut out some funky little shapes from these each. I'm trying to decide if I wanna add anything else into this. Let's see. Could we add like this into the mix? That could look cute. piece of that maybe some pink as well because pink looks very good with green like these two would look so good together so let's just do a little piece of pink okay i think that's gonna be good for colors um yeah good now i'm gonna cut them into like little pieces that I want for earrings and stuff.
And then here's my crystal bucket for jewelry making <laughs> the pieces. So I'm gonna look through and pick out some, like these beautiful watermelon quartz. So cute, maybe do some of these. And yeah. It looks like this because I keep a sticker. I keep a sticker on my webcam because I don't want someone spying on me. Like. So every time I take it off to film, I have to like really clean it because there's the sticker gunk on it. Anyways, basically I then literally went to bed. I stopped what I was doing and went to bed because I was exhausted. And I woke up today at 1.20 p.m. I'm reverting back to my old ways. And that's not good. Or is it? I guess that's really person, person, the person, but I'm going to go. Uh, love you guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>